What's up everybody, this is John G from becomeabeatmaker.com on Wing Sound. In this quick tutorial, I wanted to give you a brief overview of the FL Studio user interface. Right here you got your browser window, and this is where you can you know, load up all your drum kits. You can just drag and drop them into the sequencer. So down here you got your mixer. You got multiple channels for your mixer. Right here you got your playlist, and this is where you can import your audio and arrange your songs. Okay, and over here, okay, this is your piano roll, and the piano roll is where you can manipulate all your MIDI data. Over here you got your step sequencer, okay, and this is where you can lay down your drum patterns and you can actually convert these into the piano roll. So if I go send the piano roll, it ends up showing up right here as MIDI data. And pretty much those are the main windows that you're going to be working out of. So you're going to have your step sequencer, your mixer, your playlist, and your piano roll. Up here, these are all shortcuts to open up these windows as well. So right here is your playlist, and over here is your step sequencer, your piano roll, your browser, and your mixer. So these are all shortcuts to access these windows. Over here you got your undo feature, you got your save functions, your record function here, this will record right into Edison. Okay, and this is a one-click audio recording. You got some notes for your sessions, and you got your help button here. All right, and over here you got your updates, and have your CPU notifications here, so it'll let you know how much RAM you're using in your sessions, which is really good. These are your recording features, like your metronome, countdown to recording, wait for note, blend existing data, loop recording, uh, this is just your auto scroll feature, link to controller so you can control these knobs or faders with your hardware instead of scrolling it up and down. Your cell, this is basically you know how you would snap audio into here. Depending on what you have selected, it'll snap into each one of these cells. And over here you got your tempo, you got your pattern selector over here, and you can select as many patterns as you want. And if you want to change it, you just left click and hold it and drag it up or down. And likewise with the tempo, you can just right click on the tempo and select a quick tempo like 120. And you can also left click and hold it and drag it up and down as well. Okay, and up here you got your time signature, so you can check out the time by minutes and seconds or bars and beats. It's up to you. This is your play, stop, and record button, pattern and song mode. And you got your master pitch over here. Okay, and you got your master volume over here. These items here are your audio MIDI indicators, and you also have your standard menus here like tools and options, you know, channels, all this good stuff. All right, John Z signing off. Become a beatmaker.com. Join the conversation by following Wink Sound on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube to keep up with everything you need to know about music and audio technology.